Hey everybody, they're forecasting that we're gonna get a big snowstorm here today, calling for eight to 12 inches plus. This is the south side of the barn, so this is usually the last side we close up. So we wanna make sure we got everything sealed up the best we can. We're gonna close up the calf barn, make sure that's all sealed up as well. We just have a little two inch gap at the top, so I'm gonna raise the curtain and then we'll roll it down. So I'm cracking this up to raise the curtain. This curtain's wearing out on the end. There's no calf right inside of here till down farther, but. Now this door should be closed, but I guess Ethan's gonna scrape here today first. Yeah. Need to get this roll door closed right here too. So we found with wind blowing snow, it gets everywhere. The more you can have it sealed up, the better. It's not too uncommon for us to get snow, but it's been a couple years since we've had a good storm. I know last winter was one of the warmest winters I can remember. So in my last video, we got rid of this old conveyor so we could stack our mineral here. It'll be nice when we feed, we can just stay right here, throw it into the conveyor as we need it. We got one more door we need to close and it's this one at the end of the little heifer barn. It's almost 12 o'clock now, hasn't started yet, but. So we have this commodity barn for our feed with this big high front on it. And this was built to allow big trucks to be able to come in and dump. And we're not even really using it anymore for that. It usually is fine because it's facing the south. But a storm like this, we could have definitely have potential of the snow blowing in on the feed here. We did just chop this hay. So there's definitely a risk of that getting covered in snow. So I just had some lunch and the snow is starting to come down now. Blowing from the east. Today is Wednesday, so it's time to bed stalls again, and I also have a couple of cows to dry up. It's kind of the same thing as I showed in recent videos, so probably not gonna show too much. We're just gonna work at some chores, and we'll see how much this snow adds up to be. We best close up this curtain the whole way. So we want to dry up 685. My dad's going to do that, I guess. So my dad just dried up the last cow. We have three cows we want to chase from that barn to the dry cow barn, and then we're going to chase four back up there. Uh, we're getting a bunch of snow on these beds.
we got those cows chased back and forth. Didn't go too bad. The one ended up running around the front of the barn, the hoy circled the big barn up there. We uh, got this door closed here because all of it was kind of swirling around and getting on the beds. Should have had that closed right away, but it's fine. Wanted to do one thing. This door over here has a latch on it, but the latch was bent, so I had to go straighten it out. I'm going to put it back on now. So the latch goes right here, and what happens is we come in with the bedding spreader, and we end up catching it with the skid loader over the edge of the bucket, bending it up. Okay, that'll keep that tight there. It's just coming down nice and steady. It's a really big storm system, so it's just gonna be consistently snowing and they're saying it's supposed to snow heavier after dark tonight. It's time to get started with the feeding now. So I'm just checking the troughs here to see how much feed is left. But yeah, we're getting snow blowing in that peak up there. There's an, an overshot roof on the right there, overlaps the one on the left so we get some airflow. But with this wind, it's kind of blowing it in the center, getting some snow in the alleyway. The beds are dry though. It's good we have the curtains closed up. It's definitely good we closed this door. It's staying pretty nice in here for the heifers. I guess dad wants to do it. He wants to go push some snow, so I'll let him load the mixer. Got a few inches. My dad's doing the hard work of pushing the feed in for me. I told him he didn't have to. Appreciate it though. I thought I shaved off some silage here. are still nice and dry. We're getting snow in the center of the barn. Got the cows fed. I need to be out here again tomorrow morning to feed. I'll pick back up then. It's supposed to snow all night and it looks like we have, it's hard to say, but four to six inches right now. It's about 5 a.m. now. Getting out to get started with the feeding. Gonna fire up the skid loader and get it warming up. So I thought it might still be snowing at this time, but the storm system cleared out and it's not even that windy. It feels pretty good out here. It's really hard to tell how much we got because the wind blows it around. Some, some spots are a foot deep, some spots are four inches deep. It worked out good. Our milk truck comes and picks up milk every other night. And this past night was actually not the night for them to come. They came the night before already. So that gives us time to clear out snow today for them. Oh. 
our robot stopped working last night. The snow got too deep in here. First thing I'm gonna do is go get the skid loader. Just push all this snow straight out the front of the barn. Get it out of the way. Before I get started getting ready for feeding, I'm going to clear a path for the calf feeders to get out to the calf barn. Get just one width of the bucket down to the milk house down there. So I spent enough time pushing snow. I need to get going with the feeding now. I'm gonna clean out in front of the bunker silo. Then we could shave off the wall for this morning. Well, I can't get my quick attached hook up. I don't know if it's frozen here or what it is, but I gotta go get some, I guess I'll put some hot water on it. See if I can get it to work. Getting a little bit behind here. I might not be able to film too much. I need to get the feeding done. Okay, I got the feeding done. Heifers are all fed. There's a bunch of snow in this area. I had to come through at the skid loader and clean it out to put feed there. And the dry cows, there's some snow in their feet over there too. It's beautiful out here. I wanna put a scoop of bedding in the pre-fresh pen and I got this skid loader warming up. See how much snow blew in here. It worked out good that we don't have too much shavings right now, but still got snow back on there. And what happens is, is it melts and you got wet shavings and that's just a haven for bacteria to grow. Sometimes I'll say a word and I'll be like, I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've used that word on this channel. Haven. So now I gotta get this door open so I can get in here embedded. 
snow in the way. So right now we have 14 cows in our pre-fresh pen, which is too many. Prefer to have it be 10 or less, but right now we have a lot of cows to do at the same time, so this pen is packed full. Just gonna put bedding in every day to make sure it's nice and dry in here for them. We got the chores up here done. Dad's gonna head to the other farm and feed those heifers. I'm gonna get some breakfast and then work at clearing some snow out because we have a truck coming to, to deliver some feed today. Definitely wanna clear this area out in front of the parlor. The milk truck will loop around. He comes in this driveway and then loops around and backs over into the right into the milk house there. We have a feed delivery coming in less than an hour, so I'm gonna work over here first. Pushing snow, you try to take off as much as you can without taking the stones with you. And what helps is to pile the snow on the driveway, the corners of the driveway, so that once it melts and if you did get some stones, it doesn't end up in the grass. Are you making a video? I am. We'll see what you do. If you do anything interesting, I'm going to put it in. the help I get from my brother on the farm.
Got to break out the sunglasses again. So I got to go get a shovel. We need to clean out this front area of the parlor. Driveways are mostly done. We pretty much got everything cleaned up. Driveways are nice and clear. The storm ended up not being quite as nasty as we were expecting. We ended up getting a bunch of sleet last night and it didn't accumulate as much as we thought it might, but still got a good amount. We'll see ya.